Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen and I have been living the keto lifestyle for a year and three months now. So it is the day after Thanksgiving. Everybody's home. It's kind of like a tradition the day after Thanksgiving, we do nothing. We just hang out at home, lay in bed half the day, eat leftovers. So I just wanted to give you like a little recap of Keto Thanksgiving. I didn't cook as much as I did last year. Like last year I was really into it. I made Keto gravy, Keto mac and cheese, Keto eggnog, Mom, Keto brownies. You can come over here James. Come here. James isn't feeling good. He's a little sick. He's been coughing a lot. So you just hang out. Hi. Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so all I made this year, I made the eggnog, which came out mm -hmm. delicious. I'll put a link yeah. to the eggnog recipe. I actually went back and watched one of my videos to make the brownies, and it was such a mess, the video. Like, I just wanted to make the brownies, and I was all over the place. I made gravy, I made brownies, I almost made cheesecake. Yes. If you make a video, please, tell me how you love that the food out, tell me the next video I'll be rude, and I'll just the you go there. Okay, as soon as I'm done. Okay? Um, keto brownies. So as I was watching the video, I realized I never even said how long to leave the brownies in, so I got to go back and put a little amendment in that video. But it was about 14 minutes for the brownies if you do go and watch that video. Um, I'll put some pictures up of what I ate. It, I wasn't tempted at all. I went to my mother-in-law's right down the block, and there was no temptation. Yeah. Had some turkey. Uh, Usually yeah. stuffing would tempt me. Yeah. And your mouth? Your mouth? Your mouth? Can you go play with Saul? Actually, doesn't make noise while I'm in your video. Yes. Thank you. Um, so actually, I'm more tempted today because I really would like, you know, a sandwich. But I bought low carb wraps so I could at least make the turkey sandwich in a wrap. And not, you know, I really want like a roll, nice unseated roll, but can't do that. No big deal. So this video is a little bit different. Um, for all of my keto people, you can kind of like stop now if you don't want to watch the rest of the video. I'm trying something different. I did something crazy. I did something called a vampire facial and I just wanted to kind of put up, you know, all the pictures I took throughout, what it was about, the recovery time, and just kind of throw a little beauty into the channel. Uh, if it works out and people like to watch that stuff, then eventually I'll, you know, break off and make another channel with that so I don't have to mix the keto and the beauty and all that. But Whoever's interested, you can watch, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience with the vampire facial. Good morning, guys. I just got back from dropping the kids off, and I am do doing something for myself today. I'm doing something called a vampire facial, and I just wanted to give you guys a before shot of my face and tell you the reason that I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm fine with my skin. It's fine. Whatever. I'm getting older. Yeah, we all are. But I'm fine. I feel like I have pretty good pore size and stuff like that but I go to this spa and I usually like just do regular facials and my daughter when she sits next to me in the car said that I'm starting to get like a little double chin thingy or loose skin under my chin so I'm going to give you the profile view and of course now that she said it I look in the mirror and I see it so it's bothering me and I asked the technician at the spa what I could do to help with that I don't want to do fillers so she told me something called PRP where they actually like centrifuge your blood and they can inject your own blood back into you. So it's not really technically a filler, but it does lift a little bit on the jawline. So they do like injections along my jawline and probably here too, because I got a little bit of creases there and it kind of lifts you up a little bit without putting something foreign into your face, which I really don't want to start doing fillers and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to go into the sunshine and give you guys a before picture. I am such a mess. I didn't even look in the mirror yet, really. Sun. Ah, sun. So this is my face before, so this would be Kylie's angle in the car, and she says that I have something going on under here, and it's just like a little loose skin. So that's the main reason that I'm going, like, pore size, I think I'm okay, I don't think my, I have no makeup on, nothing, I just woke up. So that's my face, I'm gonna get the other view from this side. And we'll see the difference. After now, they said it could take oh, it could take some time to see the full effect because you're kind of like rebuilding your own collagen when you do this. So I'll do like a right after picture and then maybe like 
a two week after and a month after or something like that. I'll do updates. All right, I gotta jump in the shower because I have like 20 minutes to get there. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. I'm done. Um, my face feels like it's burnt and it's just all greasy. And it took a little longer than I thought. First, they did a facial and that was like to clean my skin from all its impurities. And then they had to put numbing cream on while they, while the numbing cream was on, they drew blood and then they did the microderm, no, the microneedling. And then they did injections at the end. So it took a lot longer than I thought, but I'm done. And I'm going to pick up my son at daycare now and I'm going to see his reaction to mommy's face. <laughs> it should be interesting. Okay. So this is about an hour after my procedure. And I mean, it's not bad. It's very red and it's just the cream that they make you put on. You look really greasy. Yeah, I flipped the camera. You just look really greasy. But the redness isn't so bad. So I'm a little excited. So this is one hour after having it done. And I really think the worst is just all this goop. We gotta keep your face very moisturized. She said every hour to put this like ointment stuff on. So we will see. Good morning guys. Okay, so it's the morning after doing my vampire facial and I just kind of washed my face just with water just to get all that goopy stuff off. So there was no pain at all. My bird is making a lot of noise. But my face is still, I'm in the sun right now, my face is still really, really red. It's not so sunny today. But, okay, look at side view. So she injected a lot along my chin line, so I don't know if it looks any better, but that was the whole reason was this thing here. So day two, um, well actually, yeah, the morning after the next day. So I had it on Tuesday at like 11 o'clock. Today is Wednesday and it is like almost nine o'clock in the morning. There's no way that I could go to work like this. I wouldn't put makeup on yet because your skin is still kind of raw and I have to go put that goopy stuff on again. So you're not supposed to let it dry out or else it'll peel. So yeah, day two wouldn't work tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So hopefully I'll be, they said after 48 hours, you could put some makeup on. I'm not really good at doing makeup, but I'm going to do my best to just cover up some of the redness and that's it. Good morning guys. It's actually Thanksgiving morning. So happy Thanksgiving. I just wanted to sneak down here quick before everybody got up and give you the day two. So this is what my face looks like. It's a little greasy. I just put some stuff on it before I went to bed and I didn't really wash it yet, but this is it. So I really didn't believe them when they said I only needed two days off from work, one day of the procedure and the day after. But today I definitely could put makeup on. Like my anything that was open is definitely healed. So I can put makeup on today. So I definitely would leave the house today. Yesterday I didn't want to leave the house. I was still red. But let me just show you. So a couple of bruises. I know there's a bruise on my neck. There's a bruise by my eye. There's a bruise over by my lip. Just where they did any injections. I have a couple of little bruises. But it's nothing that can't be covered up makeup. Good morning guys. Okay, it's morning of day three. Um, I peeled a little bit yesterday. It was Thanksgiving so I really didn't moisturize like I should have. So I did peel a little bit but it's absolutely fine. They said two days to take off work and that's really all you need. So when I step in the sunlight it is a little sunny today. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes because it's too bright. It's too early. This is what my face looks like. Let me give you the side view. So there's only one real bruise on my lip and then one on my neck. Hopefully this is focused today. But my skin definitely feels tighter. I mean, it's obviously healing, so it feels like it's very tight. It was a little itchy last night because it got dry because I didn't moisturize like I should have, but it's basically done, like three days of healing and you're, you're absolutely fine. So now we just have to see. They say the results are gonna keep getting better, keep improving, and we'll see, and I'll have to do a little follow-up video. So it's been almost a week. Tomorrow would be a week since I had my vampire facial, and I just wanted to give you a little recap. I still have one bruise left over on my neck, right here. She must have hit a vein or something when she did the injection on my neck. But, I mean, when my hair's down, that's basically covered. My skin looks amazing. My pores, everything just looks so smooth. I'll try to get closer. But I have no makeup on. I just, I feel like I'm glowing. 
somebody said it at work. My mom said my skin looks great. She knew I had it done, but she said it looked great. Uh, it's kind of expensive. I kind of, I researched the area. You want to make sure you go to a reputable place because they're, you know, drawing your blood and they're using needles and you want to make sure everything is sanitary, everything is clean. So prices I saw ranged from like 500 to 1000 Now I got mine done on a Black Friday sale, so plus at my reputable spa, so I felt really comfortable doing it, but it was kind of expensive. It's not something you have to do often. It's something they said every six months you could do, but I probably would do this maybe once a year, just during the winter, like slough off all the old cells and regenerate everything. And they said that this is supposed to keep improving. So I'm a little excited. Um, as you can see, I have like <laughs> wrinkles on my forehead. I mean, I, I, I have done Botox before. I don't do it often. Maybe once a year, I'll go and get a little bit of Botox, but I really didn't want to go the filler route. I'm kind of afraid of starting fillers. I see people's faces getting so big and round and I, I don't want that look, especially like the duck lip look. Like I've never done any fillers. So the reason I did this vampire facial was they're basically putting your own blood back into your face. So you're not putting anything foreign in there. So this is what was bothering me. And they injected all along here. So I don't know if there's any difference. I'll have to go back and do a before after shot because I took the before photo, so we'll see. But would I recommend it? Yes. Did it hurt? No, but they really left that numbing cream on a long time. I think she had somebody else in between me, so I was sitting there for at least a half hour. So my face was completely numb. I really didn't feel anything, just pressure. Uh, healing time was only really two days except for this bruise, which you know, I'm sure they could hit a vein or something when they're doing the injection, so it might be longer for some people, but I was lucky. I really only had a little bruise here, which is gone. I had one over my lip, which is hardly there. So I'm happy. I definitely would do it again. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe and hit the little bell so you'll be notified whenever I make a new video. Thanks, guys. Thank you.